The very first step is to open the software. Click on Start Adobe Design Premium CS3. Choose Adobe InDesign CS3. This is where we arrive. Now I'll create a new document. I'll work on A4 size document. That's my document. Here's where I'm going to design my visiting card. Most visiting cards are rectangular in shape. Mine too is going to look rectangular. So, I make a rectangle using the rectangle tool. A typical card is about 92 by 56 mm in size. You can see these horizontal and vertical scales. Let's check if they are in millimeters. Simply right click anywhere on the scale. Do you see that Picas is ticked? Which means that the current unit is Picas. Let's change it to millimeter. Just click on millimeter. Similarly, let's change to millimeter on the vertical scale too. Now change the width to 92 and the height to 56. Yes, that's the size I want. I am zooming it up now. Before we proceed, take a look at the final product. That's how I want my visiting card to look. You see there are two distinct sections demarcated by a blue patch below. So, let's first make the demarcation by drawing a line. I use the line tool keeping the shift key pressed down. Next, I'm going to type in the name and designation. I use the text tool to type into this text frame. The name is seen but the designation is not, although I have typed it. It's hidden. You see this red colored indicator? It tells me that the size of the text frame needs to be increased so that I can see all the text that I typed. I'll click on this corner and enlarge the text frame. That's better. I can now see the designation too. I am now going to embellish the text. For that, I will first select the text tool. Note that the property bar now has options specific to the text tool. Now, I select the text and change the font and font size. You are free to select a font of your choice. Next, I want to right align the text. So, I go to the option Type Paragraph. This is the box you see. This indicates right alignment. Simply click on the arrow heads. Press on these arrows to get out of the box. Ok, now look at this. It's a shortcut to the panel on Paragraph. With the text aligned, the text frame seems a little too big for the text. It's eating into my work area. I'll fit it to the size of the text. Right click on the text frame, select Fitting, Fit Frame to Content. That was only a vertical fit. 
Now I am going to type in the address at the bottom. Since I already have a text frame at the top with the font type and size fixed to my choice, I'll simply duplicate the text frame and use it here. I'll increase the size of the text frame to accommodate the address. Take a look at the end product. Do you see that the address text extends from end to end at the bottom? So our text frame 2 must extend up to the borders and match the borders of the visiting card. Now I can do this only if a certain option is on. So let's see if it is on. Go to view. Grids and guides. Snap to guides. You see the tick mark? It means the option is on. So now I can extend the text frame to the other end. That's done. Now I want to center align the text. This time I am going to the shortcut to the paragraph option. And then select center alignment. Now select the text and replace with the address. Just as I did earlier, when typing the name and designation, I once again fit frame to content. Next, let's place the logo. It's in another location. I'm getting it here. File, Place. It's there. A little manipulation to the logo using the mouse and control plus shift keys. Take a closer look at the logo. It's not sharp. I can check the resolution of this. Just go to view. Display performance. You see these options here? What is selected is typical display, which is not a high resolution display. Want to see how the logo looks like in high resolution? See that? Doesn't it look better? But then to work in InDesign, you must always be on the typical display mode to save on memory space. In fact, by default, you are on this mode. If you see the final product, there is a blue patch at the bottom. I am going to bring the blue patch now. It's in another file. So, File, Place, and it's here. But it's out of our view. So I go to view. Fit spread in window. Now I'll use the scale tool to further scale it down. I reduce the size of the patch that automatically rids the pink shaded portions. Now to align the blue patch with the borders of the visiting card. Now look at the address text. If I want to make any changes to this piece of text, I cannot. You know why? Because this text is, in fact, behind the blue patch. 
Let's remove the line. Select and hit delete. Let me push the patch behind. Right click. Then select arrange. Send to back. Now I can make changes to the text. First the font color. I go to window. Swatches. I select the blue color. Oh, the text frame got colored, not the text. I go back to the swatches box and select T, meaning text, and then the blue color. Then I double click in the same place to get these swatches option. Here I can increase or decrease the intensity of the color. The text color has changed. Some final touching up. And it's done. But as I keep saying, give your clients at least two to three options to choose from. Now observe as I make them.
Time to save. Save the file in InDesign and in PDF format.